What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I have my fastest chem strike to date at just over three minutes. And I know three minutes isn't extremely fast when you compare it to all those gameplay YouTubers out there, but I'm personally proud of it, and especially because it was on Stonehaven, which is one of the largest, if not the largest map in the game, I think it may be the largest. And this is actually the fastest chem that I've ever seen on this map. Although I could be completely wrong, it doesn't really make much of a difference to me. I'm not one of those guys that's trying to break world records with my gameplay or anything. I'm just, uh, just happened to get this gameplay, got into a lobby that was quite easy, and I was able to pull off this pretty quick cam strike. So this brings me to what I want to talk about quickly, and this is the most recent patch that the Xbox just got yesterday, and all of the other platforms got it a few days ago. And the thing that caught my eye the most in this patch was the spawn logic improvements. And this relates to the gameplay because you'll notice a little bit later on how easy it was for me to camp the 1B spawn. And they just keep spawning there even though I'm only 30 or 40 feet away from them sometimes. And all I had to do to sort of exploit this a little bit was back off a bit, keep an eye on the kill feed, and whenever I saw a couple enemies die in the kill feed or I killed a couple enemies myself, I knew it was very likely that at least one of them would spawn in that uh, 1B spawn and I could just push up and kill them as they came out of spawn with their guard completely down. And I'll be the first to admit that these kills off of spawn felt pretty cheap to me because I was literally killing them within a few seconds of them spawning in. So I'm glad this new patch is addressing the spawn issue and I really hope it actually limits these instances where people are killing or being killed within a couple seconds of uh, spawning in. And I know how frustrating it can be, because it does happen to me sometimes too, I'm not immune to this. And uh, you'll see just how frustrated the enemies got in this game later on in the video, so make sure you stick through it right to the end, it's actually pretty funny. So now that these spawns have been altered a bit, I'm actually going to start collecting data and working on my spawn guide series, which I'm really excited to bring you guys, because I think you guys are going to love it. I'm going to show you guys all of the important spawn locations on all of the maps, as well as situations which you can expect enemies to spawn in these locations. So you'll be able to predict them better and you'll be able to find out when the spawn's about to flip, or sometimes you might even be able to know exactly where every one of your enemies is going to spawn. And spawn prediction is an extremely important tool in Call of Duty, and I'm actually really excited myself to learn while I create these videos because I'm not an, a complete expert yet, there are some maps that I kind of have mastered as far as spawns go, but I'm still learning, and with this new patch I'm basically going to have to relearn a little bit as well, because it's going to alter the spawns slightly. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference, but I kind of have a feeling it's going to pretty much eliminate those instances where uh, you spawn in somebody's sights or somebody spawns in your sights or something like that. But uh, we'll see. I haven't really uh, played yet with this uh, with this patch since this patch has come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Like I said before, it's kind of entertaining, but at the same time, it was also pretty disappointing. But uh, you'll see. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Yeah.